Today we're going to change the oil and the oil filter on a 2016 Jeep Compass. First step is pull the vehicle up on rhino ramps and as a secondary precaution, put jack stands underneath the vehicle. Step is to enter the vehicle through the driver's side door. And you're going to um, pull up the... Next, you're going to pull the hood release latch. Vehicle, open up the hood. Here's your dipstick. Straight down here underneath on the bottom is your oil uh, filter. And then right here is our oil fill cap that we're going to remove. Okay, so while you see this protectant here underneath the engine, what you'll find is, is up through this hole, right up in here is where the oil filter is. And right here is your uh, oil drain plug. So we're going to loosen this first and uh, go ahead and begin to drain the oil out. And then as we wait on that, then we'll look at the filter. So first we're going to loosen it. And then once we get it started, I like to take the, the ratchet off and just put on an extender. So then I can uh, keep the bolt and as much as my hands clean as possible. So right up through here is where the oil filter is. It's black, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's literally like I'm touching the bottom of it right there. So it should be hand tight, so you should be able to get up and get in there and kind of loosen it. So what I like to do is kind of reach up and loosen it. And then uh, once I get it to where it's whatever, I take a rag or paper towel and I slide up there and then just kind of finish uh, loosening it the rest of the way and then just slide it back down through the hole. It's always a good idea to have your drip pan uh, close, close by, like kind of underneath. So just in case you have any spillage, um, any extra spillage, you might catch that too. So we're going to be uh, installing the uh, Amsoil Signature Series uh, motor oil. We're using the, the 5W20 as uh, recommended. We're also going to be replacing the oil filter with uh, an Amsoil EA 15K50 uh, uh, Amsoil filter that'll, that's also recommended for this vehicle. So there are a couple things that we're going to do to prep first. The first is I'm going to take the joint, joint oil drain plug and I'm gonna wipe it off to make sure that we get a cl nice clean seal when we reinstall it. In addition, um, I'm gonna make sure that, uh, that my torque wrench is set to uh, 20 foot pounds of torque. Go ahead and lock that into position. So the next thing we're also going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of the new motor oil to our oil filter along the, the rubber gasket, the rubber seal. That's uh, just to make sure that we get a, a nice clean connection, uh, a nice clean seal on the vehicle. You want to make sure that you use new motor oil as opposed to the old because uh, using old motor oil is like rubbing dirt uh, on the seal. Now that we've completed that, we'll go ahead and install both in the vehicle. Okay, so as you can see where the oil filter needs to sit against uh, the engine, um, you can see that it needs to be wiped down. So that's the first thing you want to do. We wiped it off. We were able to be able to connect and make a clean seal. And so then you just want to set it up there 
And again, just kind of slowly guide it. You want to make sure that it's a nice, nice, easy, like you're not forcing it. And then right here at the end, when it starts to get tighter, you're going to hand tighten it. And then you want to try and turn it like an extra quarter to a half turn. Okay. This is we're going to wipe down uh, this right here where we're going to seal the, the, um, the drain plug and you just kind of do your best uh, in wiping it down and then and then putting the, the drain plug in place. You want to hand tighten this down kind of like what you did with the oil filter and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our torque wrench. And you go until you hear that click. So now we're just gonna uh, install the oil. Our oil uh, filter is in, our drain plug is uh, correctly uh, torqued. And so now we're just gonna remove the oil fill cap. And again, as you can see, it's SAE 5W20. We're installing the AMSOIL 100% synthetic motors, motor oil, this extra series. Is the SAE 5W20. Put your filter in place. And it takes four and a half quarts. So we're going to fill four quarts first. And then we're actually going to uh, run the vehicle um, and make sure that there are no leaks. And then uh, We'll then install the last half quart. So as we're pouring in the fourth quart, um, when I finish with this, I'm going to, uh, pull the, the funnel out and then replace the, uh, oil uh, fill cap and then we'll start the vehicle. With the goal of checking for leaks. Okay, so the first thing we're looking for, no leaks, no leaks. So as you can see, we pulled the vehicle off of the ram jacks and the jack stands were now level. So now we're going to add the last half quart and, uh, and make sure that we have the proper amount of oil in the vehicle. So I've, I'm going to fill this to about, I'm going to start to about seven. So what I'm going to pour in now. And then I'll check my dipstick to see where we are. And then I'll continue to go down until I'm either at where I need to be or I'm at a half court. And as you can see, we're short. Like we should be up here uh, in between these, these marks here. And so you can see that we're still pretty short. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to fill.
Brought up the shit. Yeah. And now we'll check again. As you can see, we're still a little short. So we'll go ahead and uh, finish it off to the to the half court. see we're still a little short so I'll go ahead and add a little bit more I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna run it real quick. So we add a little bit more and now we're gonna do our, our final check or our check to make sure that we're there. And as you can see, we're in our safe area. Replace our oil fill cap and close our hood.